It, this looks like a, it's going to be interesting to see whether they pull this down. I guess they will. And now it pulls. A cheer goes around the square. Got him. There he goes. Three weeks into the invasion of Iraq, the famous toppling of Saddam Hussein's statue in Firdos Square was heralded by the media as a symbol of victory. Jubilant seems too mild a word for what you're seeing here. Is but the war had only just begun. The saturation coverage depicted the toppling as a populist groundswell. But it was, in fact, a small event, shaped into greater significance by the media. The symbolic ending of this Beardo Square wasn't the end of a short war. It was the beginning of a long one. Watching these amazing scenes of uh, ordinary Iraqis, citizens with sledgehammers. And the toppling lasted about two hours. The networks almost never broke away. What is he doing? Oh, there we have it. Furling an American flag. flag. Uh, this yeah. is going to be kind of fascinating and not a little suspenseful to watch here. I hope they're watching this all over the Arab Spring. Careful examination of those broadcasts and photographs suggests the crowd, which varied in size, topped out at just a few hundred. And it was to a significant degree composed of journalists and Marines. Just about five minutes ago... Nonetheless, between 11 a.m. and 8 p.m., CNN replayed the toppling every 7.5 minutes. Fox replayed it every 4.4 minutes. Wide shots from the live coverage, which revealed a more subdued reality, were not replayed. The iconic images that shaped public opinion in America did not reveal the actual scale of the event. Though some reporters cautioned editors back home that the event was minor compared to the fighting and looting elsewhere, a visual echo chamber occurred. Rather than find the news, editors urged reporters to focus on what was unfolding on TV. between these events and the events back in Eastern Europe. By the next morning, victorious images commanded front pages worldwide along with language to match. Watch the Berlin Wall chip by chip coming down, and then all the statues of the communist... Robert Collier, a San Francisco Chronicle reporter, awoke to find that editors had recast his story to emphasize triumph at Firdos. I was told by my editor that I had screwed up and had not seen the importance of the historical event. You have to think that there are going to be some minds changed as a result of these incredible pictures. That by were... portraying the toppling as a moment of victory, the media conveyed a reassuring message, but a false one. The scenes of free Iraqis celebrating in the streets, riding American tanks, tearing down the statues of Saddam Hussein in the center of Baghdad are breathtaking. We're seeing history unfold, events that will shape the course of a country, the fate of a people, and potentially the future of the region.